In this video, I'm going to show you the four different ways you can fix uh, wrong date formats in Power BI. I'm going to show you the two simplest ways you can fix it and also two contrived ways to do it through DAX and mQuery if you're interested. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So here we have a very simple Power BI report that just has one table with two columns, an ID and an order date. Now, uh, the order date here you can see uh, it's in the US format and um, at the moment it is not really a date format column, it's actually a text format. So if we go to Power Query right here, you'll know that it's text because you see that it says here it's a, it's a text type column. Now we want to use this as a sort of a date column, right? And if we just change the date here, uh, change the type to a date instead of a text. We'll say replace here. You see that I've st I will start getting errors. And if I highlight that, you'll see that um, you will get the data format error. And we'll say that we can't parse the input of, uh, of this as date value. And you'll see why, because the date format here is actually the US format. So the US format starts with the month, uh, day, and year as opposed to the UK formats, which is the day, month, year. Now the first step to quickly fix this is to actually change our regional settings for our Power Query uh, in Power BI Desktop. So uh, if we change this back to uh, text, so from your Power Query, you can go to File Options, uh, options here under current file regional settings. You can change the locale for import to English United States. So you'll see here it determines the regional settings used to interpret numbers, dates and time uh, in imported text for this file. So we're saying okay for the dates in this uh, query or in this file treat it as if it's from uh, coming from the US locale. Uh, so if we hit okay and now we change this to a date replace current Damn, so you don't have any more errors and now they are uh, date type formats in your power query which is great it solves it really easily but let's say we don't want to use that route um, because when you upload it to the service uh, maybe you follow a different format uh, in your power bi service or maybe because you want to keep it in the uk format because this is the only query that has the us dates and everything else uh, all the other queries that you have are in the uk format not the us and uh, there's also another way that you can fix it separately. So we're gonna change this back to a text type uh, column and we're gonna change also this back to uh, UK. So we're gonna go here and change it back to the UK. Now what you can do uh, is actually from here if you click here and instead of clicking date select using locale. So this makes sure that when you change the date uh, the type of this column, you can also determine what is the local of the origin. So let's say uh, you can say to Power BI, look, this data, uh, I want you to, to change it to a date column, but I want you to use um, local of English United States. Um, the data is coming from the US, so you should treat it as if um, the format is like that. So if hit OK. Again, without changing the regional settings, we have the date columns already sorted for us pretty easily um, here in Power Query. So as you can see with that step, it's actually created a new change type uh, step in our Power Query with the locale of using the US for it. Um, so from here, a quick tip is actually to just combine this with your normal change type step. So the only difference between this one and the change type step is that you have the locale set at the very end. So what I do is you can just copy that, uh, delete this one. And then from here, you can just add it at the very end. So we'll just change this to dates. 
and you'll get the exact same results with one step less. So let's say you're really stubborn and you don't want to use either of these methods to um, format your dates um, quite easily. Now you can do it in M, which is a bit of a more roundabout way to do it. Um, and actually this is the way that I used to do it before I found out how to do it using the, uh, the locale step. So I wanna show you how I did it before if you're interested. So with this step, I'm gonna open up the notepad because we want to use it uh, to store some references. I'll show you why in a minute. We're gonna go back to changing this uh, column type to a text. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new custom column uh, writing M query here. So we're gonna type here order date. So we're gonna use text functions in M query to extract um, and reformat this order date column. So the couple of functions that we'll use are the text dot delimiters so before or after delimiters and i'll show you how it works so if you type text dot before delimiter you can feed it the text that you want to delimit and you say uh, i want you to give me the value that you get before the slash so if you hit okay so you see here it gives us the month uh, you probably see where, we, where i'm going here so we want to individually get the um, month, day, year, and then sort of combine them in the correct order and then change the type to a date. So it's um, it, logically speaking, it's pretty easy, but the um, the code, the M query that needs to be written is a little bit more complicated. So we'll break it down step by step. So we're gonna go back here to the part query. We know that this uh, piece of code will give us the month. So we'll save that here and we'll say this is for month. We're gonna say, okay, text after delimiter, uh, give, it, give it to me. So it will give us both the uh, day and the year, but we wanna find a way to just get the, um, get the day instead of just, uh, instead of the year as well. So we're gonna copy here, we're gonna cut it, keep, keep it in the clipboard, and we're gonna actually type another text.before delimiter. And instead of giving the order date, we're gonna give, paste this one that we've just created and we're gonna add another slash here. So basically we're saying, look, for this uh, specific one that we've just created, I want you to give me uh, just the one before the delimiter, which is the, um, the days. So if you hit okay, you'll see that it gives you the days. Now we can just copy this and I'm gonna add it here. This is the day. And the last one is actually pretty easy. So all we want to do um, is we want to say, okay, change this one to after. So it just gives us the year. So that piece of code is the year. So now that we have the separate M queries that give us the day, month, and year, it's just a matter of rearranging them correctly and then transforming them into a date column uh, for this whole uh, thing to work. So um, we're gonna go back here to our um, custom column. We're gonna go give me the day and then add a slash in between. And then after that, I want you to give me the month. And then again, in between, I want you to add a slash. And then the last bit is the year. So if we hit okay, you see now instead of the month, the year, we now have the day, month, year. Now the last thing you can do from here is to convert this into a date column. Now, if we just cut this, keep it in the clipboard, there is a M query function called date from text. So this function will convert the text that you feel into a date type column if it's uh, following a specific date format that you have um, in your settings. So in this case, because we know that it's the UK format, we feed it the M query that we've built. Um, and if you hit okay, you'll see that you now have an order date column that is uh, following the date format, the UK format that we have in our region settings. Um, you'll know that it's a date column because it's uh, it looks a little bit different. You can see here it's on the right. It's kind of like that. And if I do, let's say, um, 
from home or maybe from transform if I select detect data type it will convert it automatically for me into a date column the last more roundabout way to fix the date format issues is actually through DAX now this part is a bit of a fun uh, part uh, you don't really need to necessarily know this it's just interesting to know that you have so many options to do it you can do it as complicated as you want uh, so stick around if you want to see how i do that so if we hit close and load here let's try to create this new column uh, in dax instead so we'll use the order date which is a text instead of the order date uh, date column that we have just created so i'll just hide that so we don't confuse it this is the uh, just to remind you the order date is the column that has the text now what we're going to do we're going to create a new column here um we're going to write order date dax and i'm going to add just one there and i'm going to add this in this table so you can see the preview of this column that we create as we create it now we're going to use some text manipulation dax functions here uh, in this part and i've covered all of these in a separate video uh, covering all the different types of text manipulations that you can use in dax if you're interested in the whole breadth you can check out that video it's actually pretty extensive so anyway going back to our dax here um, we want to first uh, clean up the months uh, here at the beginning of our order date so you can see um, in order for us to extract the text or the day month year from uh, our column here we want to make sure that they are all in the same format so it means that they need to have the same number of characters because the position of the characters is what we'll use as a reference to say uh, to fetch let's say the months or the days from these columns so uh, what we're going to do we're going to um, create a new variable here i'm going to name it date and then from here we're going to use the text uh, function mid and we're going to give it the order date we're going to say two and we're going to get the one so so actually i missed here the return so we're gonna add a return here and say show me that variable and here is the order date dax and what we're doing here uh, we're basically saying okay for the uh, on the second character give me just the one character from that starting point um, and what we're trying to do here is we're trying to locate and see if uh, this um, if the second character is a slash it means that I need to add a zero at the very beginning of of the order date for this to work um, for us to have the exact same uh, format as the rest of the other dates so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this and we'll say if this is gives me a slash then add a zero to the order date otherwise just give me the order date as it is okay so you see now it adds that zero at the very beginning if um if it's missing and if it's not it just ignores it, it just gives us the dates now this version this variable is what we'll use for our text manipulations now from here it's pretty simple we just need to create a couple of variables to fetch the uh, different parts from this date variable so i'm gonna say for day I want to take the mm, so for the day we want to say give me mid and I want to use the variable instead and I want to say from position one two three four and then give me two characters from position four and just to show you what that gives us we'll just put it in the return so that is the day uh, that we have extracted uh, to make it simple we'll create separate variables here we'll use left this time we'll say for this variable dates i want you to give me the two characters from the very beginning so give me the two characters and to show that again you see it just gives us the month and this is why we needed to uh, make sure that the text lengths are exactly the same same thing with the year here 
we will do actually we'll use write instead that will be easier then again date and I say give me the last four characters at the end of this column so again we're gonna type year here so it gives you just the years from the order date now that we have all of the variables that we need it's just a matter of organizing them together now you don't need to do that uh, well actually you, you don't need to do that because there's a function that already does that for you so there is a function called date and all you need to do is feed it the year the month and the day for it to work so in this case because we've already got the variables you feed it the year you feed it the month and you feed it the day so now what you will do is now you have a column that is a date column converting the order date that is in the wrong format into the right format right here as a calculated column index. And that's really it for this video. Now I've shown you the four different ways I've done to convert uh, date type columns in Power BI Desktop. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really enjoyed this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.